乗り越えてこそ守るべき未来があるのです<笑> Howdy, lad here. EX Alani is finally also here. Firstly, before anything else, her artwork is absolutely gorgeous, and so is her BP recovery ability. She is a nice dancer of the power faction, hailing with the memoirs. Other than being able to lower man and ice resistance and being emergency breakers for those two weakness, she is used for one thing, her BP regen ability. This ability alone makes her a great traveler to have. Let's go ahead and check her out some more. <laughs> her VA is still Saori Onishi in the Scully version of her. Anyways, on to her notable damaging skills. First ability is the SP cost of 48. It's a 3 hit single target fan attack for potency of 65 and it gives the enemy a 15% fan resist down for 2 turns. Her second ability is SP cost of 54. She goes first, she does a 3 hit single target fan damage attack for potency 65 and she moves to a back row. Her third ability is a SP cost of 74. It's a 3 hit single target ice damage attack and gives a 15% ice resist down for 2 turns. This has a potency of 65. Her fourth ability is SP cost of 66. She goes first and deals a 4 hit single target ice damage attack and moves to a back row of potency of 45. And finally, her nuke attack. It's a SP cost of 42. It's a 1 hit single target ice damage attack of potency of 260 and she moves to a back row. Her ultimate, she gives all allies auto revive and revives all allies. At level 1 at 15% and 25% at level 10 of their max HP. Now taking a look at her notable support skills. Her first one is SP cost of 57. She gives the front row a 15% attack, elemental attack and crit up for 2 turns. Her second ability is again another 57 SP cost and she gives the front row a 15% defense, elemental defense and crit up for 2 turns. And then for her third ability, her main ability, the SP cost of 200 and when you max BP it, it becomes 100 SP. She goes into praying mode like Rinyu and she gives all allies 1 BP region. And then for her last ability, she gives the front row a 15% um to resist for 2 turns. Now for her passive. First one, while in the back row, she gives the front row a 10% elemental attack and a 10% in ice and lightning damage up. Then for her second passive, when switching rows, the front row gets a 10% elemental attack and elemental defense for 1 turn. Then she has a 10% in ice resistance and 20 in fire. Taking a look at her stats, her SP is quite high, as it should be, as she'll be in the back praying for good RNG and giving your entire team BP. Her magic is decently high at 4 or 4, so she can function as an ice DPS if need be. Now for the main question, should you pull? I definitely would. She is the only character in the game, even in JP, that provides her entire team with BP region. That alone makes her worth pulling, and of course, her artwork. As the second waifu being the younger sister to Alrika, her kit is very simple. You can either use her as ice DPS or what most are going to do, which is to put her in the back after she uses her BP region ability. Once in the back, because of her passive, your front row gets a 10% elemental attack, ice and lightning damage up at all times. Her ultimate is nice to have. It's pretty much a better version of Ophelia's ultimate and the fact that it now gives auto revive. Now, longevity. Any unit that can give your whole entire party a BP region is a must have. This allows you to do so much as Octopath's battle mechanics revolve around managing your BP usage for maximum efficiency. She'll be used almost forever and in most fights if possible. If you're coming from the Arika video, EX Alane is almost not replaceable due to that BP ability. So if you're running low on rubies and can only choose one, EX Alane is the one to go for. I'll be pulling for both her and Arika this Wednesday, so let's hope our Jesus is kind to me. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. Here's their design 5 out of 5. The artists really outdid themselves. They kept the red colors and gave her such a beautiful background, as the castle stands behind her with the shadows of the moon casting down on her. Her sprite is cool too, but sadly, these pixels don't do her justice. Her VA 4 out of 5, Saori Onishi, she's an awesome VA for Alani. Abilities 4.5 out of 5, her other abilities are nice but her BP region ability is all we care about. Longevity, 5 out of 5. She's the first traveler that I've given a 5 in this category to. And that is simply because no other character can provide what she can. Her BP recovery ability is just that good. As every turn you'll be getting 2 BP instead of 1. Level buff, 0 out of 5. She didn't get any. I'm limited, yes, 0 out of 5. She's part of the memory traveler. Overall impression, 1 of a kind. She'll be great on anyone's team. As said earlier, battles in Octopath revolve around using BP. And having a character who can spy all your characters in battle an extra BP every turn is a game changer. And also, of course, her ultimate is nice to have. Okay, well that was it for the Sisters of Adores. Let me know if you'll be pulling for Eaxalani. I'll see you all on Wednesday. Take care of yourself. Lad out.